Today I'm going to drag you kicking and screaming with Halar the Fire Fletcher. It's a little bit different deck. I'm doing this, this formatting a little bit different as well. So let's take a look at the deck. All right, this is my kicking and screaming deck with Halar the Fire Fletcher. If you don't know who this is, this is from the original Dominaria set from about five or six years ago. Halar the Fire Fletcher, for one, a red and a green, you get a 3-3 Elf Archer with Trample that says whenever you cast a spell, if it was kicked, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and then it deals damage equal to the number of counters on it to each opponent. Now, I tried to build this in paper years ago when it first came out. The problem is, even with you getting into the kicker spells from back in the day, which was originally in the Invasion block, if I remember correctly, there just wasn't enough good kicker spells. They they kind of made kicker originally really crappy. Uh, it was more of a limited thing. But since this set came out, we've had kicker a couple of different times. And kicker is actually very prevalent in the game now. So I decided to go ahead and come back on Arena and revisit, revisit, revisit the Fire Fletcher. So let's take a look at what I've done here. First, we have our standard protection stuff, Swiftfoot Boots, Gaia's Gift, and Snakeskin Veil. I included these two because I like having the counters because the thing with the Fire Fletcher is, is it doesn't care where the counters came from. You can put just a bunch of counters on there and then one kicked spell and all that damage is gonna come flying at your opponent's head. So the deck really also doubles down as a plus one, plus one counter synergy deck. Uh, next column, we have just some, you know, basic removal. We have Shiv and Fire, uh, Cinderclasm, Domri's Ambush, and Outmuscle. Just, you know, your your basic ways of just, you know, getting rid of things via fight, basically, or a little bit of burn. Um, and I'll go over some things later in the outro that I probably should have had in here, and we'll discuss them. We have the Mana Rocks and Mana Ramp. Arcane Signet, Cultivate, Haro, Skyclave Relic, and then the Great Henge because Halar gets really big, so it's really easy to have a, you know, a two or three mana Henge. And then this column, which is really, really long, is all the kicker spells that are in the deck. Vyashino Branch Rider was just introduced with Dominaria United. Royal Eruption came up in Zendikar Rising. Spartan Goblin was just introduced. Gnarled Colony. Like, you see all these spells that just recently came out, and they're actually pretty good spells. If you can kick a Colossal Growth on Halar, you're giving her plus five, plus five just for that one kicked spell, and it's just, it's going to really hurt your opponent. Uh, Gift of Growth, same kind of thing. Inscription of Abundance. She gets big, and then all of a sudden it's like, hi, I gain a bunch of life, smash your creature, and kick you in the face with a bunch of damage. Might of Marasa. Saperly Migration. I mean, you get the point. These are all kicker spells. A lot of a lot of the new ones have just come out. Some stuff that's kind of like, it was eh originally, but they're actually pretty good spells. And I, I kind of like giving the spells their chance to shine, so to speak. So I put them here. And... You know, some of them are just big threats on their own, like the Crag Pate, Crag Pate, Crag Plate Bailoth. And then other stuff, you just, you know, you just build up on Halar and just go to town. And then this column is like things that work well with the plus one, plus one synergies and counters and good stuff type things. We've got Luxior. The equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. And if it equips a Planeswalker, which we don't have any, we have one Planeswalker in the deck and that's it. Um... So like Halar, you put four counters on there and then you equip it, it's plus four, plus four, and, and, and she has trample. So it's a good thing to have there. Cranko, with all the counters flying around, we can make Cranko fat and swing and then get a bunch of goblins. Uh, Rishkar, Pima, Renegade, all of our stuff that has counters on it taps for mana and you can put counters onto creatures. Minsk and Boo, you can put three counters with the plus one onto a creature with trample or haste while Halar has trample. So three counters right there. And then if Minsk manages to live through combat, you can minus two and fling Halar at somebody later too. We also have Shivan Devastator. It's a flying fireball. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Synergizes with our plus one counter strategy and just is a good threat. And then we have basically everything that grants plus one plus one counters in the deck. We have Kumano Faces Kakazan, Hardened Scales, Tenacious Pup, First Day of Class, Carrion Beast Caller, Ranger Class, Roaring Earth, Simeon Simulacrum, Ornreef Ooze, which gives us more counters later on the attack, 
Branching Evolution, which puts twice as many counters on things, which is really good here. Virgin Crisis gives a counter and proliferates counters that already exist. Fight Rigging gives us a counter every turn and is really easy to set off the free spell. Hydra Growth doubles counters. So if you've already got a bunch of counters on Halar and we make it back around, she's going to get really big really fast. Uh, Grum Gully, she can enter with an extra counter because she's an elf. Uh, Thundering Raiju adds counters on swings, deals extra damage. Wild Onslaught puts counters on all of our stuff. Halana and Elena can sling counters around and haste when necessary. Defile our Vigor lets our green creatures come in with counters, which most of the stuff in the deck is green. Uh, Everbreak Caretaker, free counters. Biogenic Upgrade puts three counters on Halar, then doubles the counters. That's really good. Titanius Command, counters. Ancient Bronze Dragon, counters. You kind of get the point. It's plus one, plus one counters to the max. And then we just have our basic land set up. We have mountains, forests, all the dual black, uh, red, green lands, some five color lands, and then uh, positive heroes, and then field of ruin and demolition field, like I usually do. That's the deck. Let's go have some fun and kick some people in the teeth. Raga Draga. So we got us a gruel standoff. My guess is their deck is probably better. We'll see. Um, sure. Probably going to drop Rockfall Vault. Rockfall Veil. God, I cannot talk today. That's, of course, every day. So, I'm going to go with that first. And then probably uh, Kyrion Beast Caller. Quirion, however you want to pronounce that. If they ever show up, that is. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. All right, let's drop Beast Collar. Probably get it shocked. No? Yes, maybe. Lava Coil? All right. So we got some options. I'm going to leave the Snakeskin Veil available to protect. No, uh... Well, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to play Tenacious Pub. There's no real reason to um, not do this because I want Halar to catch the counters. So if I draw a land, then I can play Halar, Halar the Fire Fletcher. And it'll come in as a 4-4 with Trample. Ooh, I'm kind of glad I played the creature. All right, so there's that. Let's play Halar. All right, so I have a pair of 4-4s. Now, granted, they could also turn around and Storm's Wrath me this turn, so. Okay. Probably going to create the 4-4 four four is my guess. Yeah, okay. Which prevents me from swinging in, or so they think. Um, Let's just do this. Submit too. Hey, guess what? I can swing. <laughs> Ooh. The idea here is to get as many counters as we can on Halar so then when we kick a spell, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> and it's gonna hurt a lot. Um, I guess we'll do a Haro. I'm going to go get two green, I think. All right, so that leaves us with some options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swing. Because I have the snakeskin veil if I need to pump. All right, I should, I wasn't paying attention. I should I well it doesn't matter anyways because they could have tapped the Great Henge in response. I should have veiled to try to kill them, but they they had that to gain life. So all 
Do you have a board wipe big enough? A, uh, what is it? The, shoot. The one that deals 20. Uh, Star of Extinction. That would do it. But then I have a Shivan Devastator, so. I think they're trying to figure out uh, what their outs are right now. Okay, I have I have Snakeskin Veil. They're probably going to target Halar. No. Really? That is actually kind of surprising, to be honest. If I put that... I'm going to put this on, on there to prevent the damage. But, yeah, that's... Very odd to me. Okay, um, they, they were dead regardless. I was going to play the Shivan Devastator for three and swing, and they'd take nine. So, Derga Shivan Champion. So, we got one of the alchemy um, commanders. Ooh, I like that. Let's keep that. We'll go a Temple of Abandon to start. Uh, yeah, keep the land on top because I've gotten land screwed far too much. Let's go ahead and drop Hardened Scales. We got plenty of uh, land to work with right now. Try to get Halar online and rolling. Oh boy. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do the Skyclave Relic. I would rather have the mana rolling because then I can start kicking like Skizik and whatnot a little quicker. All right. I'm going to go ahead and drop this and then we're going to pass. If he's got a fight or if they have a fight spell, I can use gift of growth to protect it. But it could just oh, a burn spell would would be blocked too. But if they have a straight removal like that, we're screwed. Now watch, now I'll draw the uh, protection spell. Nope, just that. All right, we have six mana available. Uh, yeah, do I really want to put Halar back out? Not in particular, but I'm going to get it down. I have no idea what they got other than I'm going to get my teeth kicked in. I really, really need something to kill these things. They're just way too big right now. Ouch. All right. Royal eruption. Cause what do you get? You get a, you get a big thing, right? Gift of Growth untaps the creature. I'm just trying to think what makes the most sense to put down right now. I think for right now, I think I just need to kick a Royal Eruption to keep myself alive. And no attacks because I, <laughs> I need to be able to block a scoot swarm. Oh, really? Um, yeah. <laughs> this is dumb. Okay. So. Guess we'll play 
Do I play Great Henge? Yeah, I guess I play Great Henge. Drop the Racer's Ring. Um, I can't. Or can I kick? Yeah, I can kick that. I can kick that too. I mean, I'm dead either way, so screw it. I mean, why not? <laughs> Kick it. I get so close, yet so far away, and all this flying damage is just going to finish me off. Garuda. I haven't seen that one in a long time. Uh, sure, we'll try this. Doesn't have much ramp, but... Shivan Fire is a good removal to start off with. Spell Pierce on my Luxior. Okay. The whole idea behind that being in the deck is if Halara's got a bunch of counters on her, then it's just like, okay, whatever. All right, can't can't blast that out of the way just yet. All right, so let's play Halar. If they want to spend a turn, you know, removing it or whatever, then I can get Halana and Elena down next turn. Um, they left mana open. I don't like that. I'm going to kick this, uh, turning mine. So even if they counter that, I'm killing the sky, the sky gate. So. One way or the other, that sky gate was going to get biffed. So I, I don't mind that so much. Um, let's see. That takes five to kick. Same with this and same with that. So I guess let's try this. Let's see if they counter this and then I can keep my uh, kicker spells from being countered. Of course, if I get to uh, seven mana, that can't be countered anyways. All right. Crap. All right. Still not enough mana to do anything. I'm going to have to play this without the kicker. Get a green because I have a ton of red. And then I'm just going to play Roaring Earth. So when I actually someday get to the point where I can get more lands, I might get some more counters on Halar. Garuda time. It's Garuda time. Uh, Vestwood Surge actually wouldn't be the most god-awful thing right now, but I can't kick it. That doesn't do me much good either. If I sh if I kick the Shiv in, I think I'm better off just playing Surge as is. Get a couple green. Roaring Earth will trigger. I'll put the counters on Alar, and then just pass because without without there being any way to punch through Garuda there's no reason oh you son of a biscuit all right hand I uh, will discard the Tajaru Paragon All right, we'll replay Halar. That sucked. And we'll go ahead and play this with Unearth so I can put the counters on Halar and say no. So at least I got two of my counters back and it also keeps the Denrova Horror from punching me in the face. At least until they kill Halar. All right, we'll take that one on the chin. All right, what 
is in our graveyard. I'm just trying to think, can I? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I cannot kill them with a kicked Shivan fire. All right, they had a negate, which is fine. But I am attacking. Because <laughs> that keeps them from messing with me, at least for a turn. And if they spend their whole turn trying to kill Halar, I got Craggy here. Okay. Okay. Kicked Inscription of Abundance can kill the dragon. And gain me a bunch of life. Dink, dink, dink. Two counters. Me, me, you. <laughs> Boom. Nice. You've been kicked to death. All right, we get Ivy. Chances are not looking good. Huh? I guess we'll see. Well, that actually makes it a lot of sense for us because we can do cultivate on three and then do first day of class into Halar on four because we'll have the, the fifth mana at that point. And it's four damage to target creature. If it was kicked, it all steals four damage. Okay. Well. And it could also be a case that we just need to kick a, a Goblin Barrage and kill um, Ivy before we get just absolutely wrecked so i'm gonna go get two green like i said now we have the ability to do first day of class into halar depending on what they got going on All right, so they have the Trumpeting Gnar. We, yeah, we're gonna do first day of class and we're gonna discard the Demolition Field. Nah, or yeah, we'll do Demolition Field. And then we're gonna do Halar. And I'm gonna go ahead and attack. All right, so the count the counters have started rolling. So we can probably remove something next turn. Um, but I actually don't have a I don't have a uh, artifact or a goblin to sacrifice right now. Oh, please give me something. Dang it. Not what I wanted. Um Now it becomes a question of, do I do that and then swing and then hope I don't get rolled? Or do I just kick this? You know what? Screw it. We're going to kick this. Because then it gives me a 5-5 five, five and a 6-6 six, six trample. To which then I can slam Shatter Skull Charger and it's going to come in with a couple counters on it too. Or actually one counter, sorry. But it'll be a 5-4 Trampler. Like there's going to be a lot of Trample damage coming through next turn. Hmm, maybe I should just... Maybe I should have just outright killed that Trumpeting Gnar because that thing is going to cause issues too.
it could be that I just cast the charger without the kicker and smash something. I'm not sure. Uh, could be that we just need to start kicking the crap out of stuff too and just building up defenses like I'm going to put Halana and Elena down. I'm going to put the counters on Halar. Only for the fact that I really need to just get a ton of counters on her, on the creature so that I can just do a kicker blast into their face. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's really rough. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, it didn't. Oh, because it doesn't target. Okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I'll block the two damage because I'm probably going to need to preserve as much damage as I can. All right, so do I have anything with kicker in the graveyard? No. Let's do fight rigging. Let's do, let's do hardened scales. You're scared of a fight ring with all that over there. Really? <laughs> Mono blue. You don't see that very often. Uh, that's not good. Well, not much better, but a little better. If I had a green in that last hand, I'd have kept it. I think it would have been worth keeping. Now, depending on what they got mana-wise next turn, I'll probably play Halar, but there's a good chance I'm walking into a counter. I hate counter spells. <sighs> All right, let's just go ahead and do Helena and Elena. Because if they don't bounce that and I get a land, I get to play Halar and give it haste. I really don't care about nurse it. Mm, they, look at that. They have a counter. Ooh. Well, let's see if we can give them something to counter. Well, darn, you didn't want to counter that. Oh, they had another counter in their hand. Man, 
Yeah, this is probably Counterspell Dot deck. I f fucking hate that deck. Not gonna. I'm not gonna candy coat that. I'm not Willy Wonka. Sorry. Hmm. Let's go ahead and give him something to counter. Really? I'm shocked they didn't counter that. Oh, well. No, oh, okay. I was like, what the heck is that? Uh, let's set that to red because I have a bunch of green. Uh, get out of my way. Let's see here. I know there is a counter in the future here. I'm just trying to figure out how to beat my way around it. I have to do that to do the kill. I'll do the adamant on there just because. Come on, counter it. I know you need to. I know you want to. There you go. Finally, you did what I wanted. So frustrating. It's like, come on. Cause that's the only way you can beat a counter spell deck is you just have to f just slam as many spells as you can into their counters and try to beat your way through them. All right, I'm going to play. Hmm. I can't do both. Like, I can't do that and get Halar online. I think I'm going to try and get another creature online just to beat them in the face. I don't have anything with Kicker in the Yard, right? No. All right. Just play the creature. Now, if they counter this, I'm, I'm going to jam the Branching Evolution. And that's fine. Hey, guess what I got? I got the thing I wanted. Thanks. There's seven damage coming. Good game. Counter that. Can you tell I don't like counter magic? Enjoy. All right, we got combo. Um, sure, we'll try this. Roar Roaring Earth with a, a clutch full of lands is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose a counter because I can't, I have to play one of these lands first in order to play Halar. Actually, hmm. I'm going to play it. Probably going to get it killed. We'll see.
No, no, they're just they're just going all in. Artifact. What did they? Wow, the Might Stone and the Weak Stone was their exile. Their hand must have been full of cheap. Like just lots of cheap. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do this. I think. Actually, no. Screw that. We're gonna do this. Cause I can I can proliferate an extra counter on that next turn. Because that's how you beat Joyra is you just you have to just throw as much down as you can. All right, did not get the land, which sucks. So we're just gonna do extra counter here and then we're gonna proliferate them both. So they're gonna go, they're gonna go to eight. And if you heard that beeping sound, that was my alarm going off. It's time for my daughter to get home from school. So we'll see if we can finish this in time or not. Oh boy, that could get ugly if he's got a bunch of cantrippy stuff. Oh, what am I talking about? She's a walking cantrip with all those artifacts. I think we're I think we're going to be dead soon. If I get to untap with a land, Minskin Boo is like the ultimate. Because I can swing and then fling Halar. Come on. Come on. Just let me untap with a land. A land. I might even just, if I get a land, I might even do that and kick it and trample. Come on. Oh, they got to decide what they're discarding now. All right. Come on, give me a land. Oh, baby. All right, let's try this. Uh, counter on Halar. At seven. Screw it. We're going in. Because if we're going in hot, because if I a kick to Mighty Marasa might just finish this. With the kicker. They have to have a bounce spell. Because the kicker, the kicker blast plus the trample will kill them. That's not enough. That's not enough. You're still taking four to the face and then another five. Come on. Come on, buddy. I gotta go. <laughs> Come on, don't rope me. Don't be rude.
Ropers are just about as bad as counterspell players. So as we sit here and wait for them to rope me out, and then I'm going to rush out the door, I will just let you know that the adventures with Halar the Fire Fletcher will be continued in the recording here, if probably tomorrow when I get back to recording again. For now, I get to get my child off the bus, and then we are going to uh, go forth to work. Victory is so sweet against combo players who get salty. The Scarab God. This does not bode well for me. I, I'm on, this will be my sixth game today. Not gonna lie. And I've lost all the other games in a row. Just, just got blown out of the freaking water. And it hasn't gotten any better. That's the really sucky part. It's like, it just is not getting any better. Including one game where I pretty much lost my shit. Um, the player in question had eight. I mean, eight single target removal spells that they drew and played in a jund deck and they were all mono black removal spells just kill that kill that kill that nope fuck that dead and <laughs> i i am honestly i'm at wit's end as to what the hell is going on today it just makes my head hurt trying to figure out why i cannot draw well play well everything is just going against me that's the negative counter right okay so that's a thing to hang on to um if i block or if they block i'm gonna do this i'm gonna swing i'm gonna see what they do <clears throat> Excuse me. If they decided to double block or whatever, it, all that's going to do is cancel the plus one, plus one counter out. That's all that does. Okay. So, yeah, that gets to get Shivan fired because I'm not dealing with that crap. Go ahead and get cheeky. Okay. I'm going to wait because I might need the life gain. We're going to Vastwood Surge without kicker. I need lands. We're going to get two forests. Um, I'm just going to wait because they may gladly trade off to get rid of Halar. So now I can kick an Inscription of Abundance. I could kick a Wild Onslaught. I can play a really big Shivan Devastator. Yes, I'm not going to block that because now I don't have this, the, the uh, element of surprise. Okay, so now I have a way to fight that. That's good. Um, But that would not be good for us. But I can do this. Let's do Halana and Elena. We'll put the counters on Halar. So now I have a 5-5. Five, five. When the turn. I'll have Inscription of Abundance available to put counters on Halar if necessary. Just as a way to counteract. I could also put the counters on Halana and Elena since they have First Strike. So it'd become a four five for a striker and be able to smack the champion of the perished in the teeth. So like if they spend their mana to get their death Baron back, which is where my thought process is going right now, but with all his looking around, he might be looking just to kill something.
Okay. Gotcha. And that's fine. All right, now it's a 5-5 five five because of that. All right. It would drop to a 4-4. Four four. I'm going to wait because they didn't, they didn't swing. All right. So I did not get the land. Wild Onslaught gives me options. Um, but I can't kick it. I think I'm going to do Fight Rigging because I have Halana and Elena. That's it. <laughs> A big old pile of freaking lands. All right, we'll just do them here. Raji, please. Thank you. Um, hmm. Now it becomes a question of what do I want to do with that? Because mm. if I do swing with Halar, I can fight the 4-4 four four and kill it, and it would cause a just a weird chain of events. I think, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, Okay. I mean, sure. I'm not losing enough to wor warrant worrying about the Scarab God right now. I'm more worried about that 4 4 grand death touch to everything. Okay. Yeah, that's a thing. Tenacious Pup's probably going to get stuck under the bus. All right, uh, let's do one more go. All right, play that. We'll make it red. Oh, I like that on top because that can give us a kill next turn. That's at instant speed. This is at instant speed. Next, we'll put, we're still going to put all the counters on Halar because I want a huge kick. Um, can I just kill them if they get like, man, just like lousy with their blocks? I think I can. If I do Raiju, yeah, do Raiju Tenacious Pup, put a counter on the pup just to get a couple extra ticks of damage. I think I can kill them outright. Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Inscription of Abundance with the kicker. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, you, me, you, you. So that's going to kill that. And then the trample damage should finish them. There we go. Did not want to leave lethal damage on the board if I didn't have to. Especially against a black deck. Ugh, it's Ivy. Oh. I don't foresee good things coming of this, because if you don't have burn to just kill Ivy outright before they start stacking mutates and stuff on it, you're probably going to lose. All right. So let's get Halar up and running because I can do uh, Orin Reef next turn. Um, or do I just want to do the Raiju? I think I just want to do the Raiju because I'm basically sneaking damage across this way. Because they're not likely, they just played that essence symbiote. They're not likely to let it go like immediately. Because that's the other way you beat Ivy is you just freaking hammer. Okay, there's fight rigging. That's a thing. Hmm. This would surge. 
I'm just trying. I'm I'm weighing like what to do with this. Let's go ahead and do Oren Reef Ooze. We'll put another counter. We're going to swing. Same thing. I know I'm putting a lot of eggs into the Halar basket here. But there's a big butt attached to this. A land and I can kick the Kavu for four damage straight up. And Halar is already a 6-6 six, six trample. And I'm all like, yeah, there's just like, here, let me walk, let me walk you through what I was going to do. Let's pretend I drew a land. It would have been land, play the Kavu kicked, which would have given Halar another counter. Actually, it would have been a kick for four. They would have been at three. Halar would have been a seven, seven before swings. Attack with all this. The Raiju is going to put another counter somewhere and then Orin Reef's going to stick another counter. So, so Halar would have been like a nine, nine trample coming on through with them at three life. Yeah. Feels good. So what do you guys think? I had a lot of fun playing the deck. It's a good thing to revisit some of our old commanders that we might have tried and they failed in the past because you never know. You might actually find some good synergies that work now with all the new cards that have been printed. I liked what things were going on and I liked how things were playing, but there's a lot of work to be done with this deck. I need more protection to keep Halar alive. There was a game, I'm not including it, the full footage in there, but I got livid because my opponent drew like seven or eight single target removal spells and just lit Halar up like four times plus my other threats and I just never got to play the game. But I might throw a couple outtakes here at the end just so you can see how idiotically mad I got. So apparently they are running removal.deck, which is really annoying. That's their third removal spell. Jesus Christ on the removal. So this is like a hidden Cheville deck, apparently. That's five, five single target removal spells. Make that six, seven, eight removal spells. Uh, on top of that, there's some stuff here that just doesn't work, like Goblin Barrage. I can never play it because I just don't have enough artifacts and goblins going around to kick it. So it's, otherwise, it's just a four mana, four removal. And that's terrible. Roaring Earth was okay. It's kind of slow for what you're trying to do. And I think I really need to have Burn Down the House and other removal spells in the deck because otherwise, sometimes you just get ran right the hell over. Like, I had werewolf decks just beating my face in all day because I didn't have anything to sweep them up with. That said, if you like the deck, feel free to build whatever you want, add whatever you want to this deck. There's a lot of kicker spells I didn't put in there. There's a lot of plus one, plus one counter stuff I didn't put in there. But again, I love this stuff. Just, you know, have fun with it. And I will see you guys in the next video.